Welcome to Backpack. Join me on a journey across the top 10 things to do in Cape Verde. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Cape Verde is a magnificent island chain that protrudes into the Atlantic about 311 miles west of Senegal. It is home to a compelling mix of mountains, beaches, and tranquil seaside communities. On Santo Anto, jagged peaks conceal lush valleys filled with flowers and sugarcane that are perfect for long excursions. Number 10. Hike to a Volcano if you want to try something new, travel to Fogo Island and hike near the summit of Pico de Fogo, the highest point in all of Cape Verde. Although it is a volcano, there's no need to be concerned about an impending eruption. There hasn't been one for about 400 years, and it's also being monitored for activity. The hike itself has a scenic approach to the peak with a few communities and surprises along the way. You must be fit and familiar with elevation changes for this hike, which can make it tough in hot weather. Number 9. Gaze at the Desert Stars The sand flakes that make up the Viana Desert are blown in from Western Africa, giving Boa Vista its very own piece of the Sahara. For something different, arrive after dark and spend time gazing up into the night sky. Many tour companies provide dune buggy and quad bike trips across the dunes. Before setting out with a guide to view the Milky Way and beyond, you'll enjoy a traditional Cape Verdean dinner in your camp. Because there is no light pollution, it is possible to see the constellations with just the naked eye. But telescopes are also available, and there are kid-friendly activities too. Number 8. Visit the Salt Mines the salt mines in Pedra de Lume appear to be fairly deserted, although thousands of people worked here in the 18th century. Even though the scenery these old mines have left behind is quite picturesque, one of the main delights of a visit is submerging or floating into the salt ponds they have created. Number 7. Santo Antao Island being the second largest island in Cape Verde, Santo Anto provides a good selection of things to do. It's one of those islands much greener and lusher than places like Boa Vista. Once you arrive, be sure to stop at Zozo and travel along the lovely trails that lead from Lynn de Corvo to Ju Afonso. Now some of the routes can be challenging, and you'll need to be well prepared for some of the longer hikes, but I can assure you that it will all be worthwhile. Oh, and don't forget to check out the views from the Delgadino Mountain Ridge. Make sure to schedule a guided trek if you're unfamiliar with the island. This is the most secure method of exploration. Number 6. Visit the Turtles Boa Vista is one of the most significant sea turtle breeding places in the world, and both the residents and the nation itself safeguard the area. It's crucial to maintain a respectful distance from the loggerhead sea turtles as with any species and never touch them. The best way to see sea turtles is on a scheduled excursion, which you can reserve for roughly 100 euros at most island hotels. Number 5 go diving. The waters near Cape Verde are a pleasure for PADI certified divers. There are many varied habitats to explore in its warm waters, including shipwrecks, coral reefs, and caverns. You should base your aquatic adventures at Sal or Boa Vista. A half-day guided tour consists of two independent dives down to maximum depth of 35 meters, hotel pickup, and all equipment. You and your group might come across some of the native wildlife of Cape Verde, such as porpoises, barracuda, stingray, and turtle species. Number 4. Pedra Lume Crater The enormous Pedra Lume Crater may be found on the island of Sal. It was formed by a volcano, but it has since been filled with salty ocean water from which the island of Sal is named. 
these really warm pools actually have a higher mineral content than even the Dead Sea, which means that it's fantastic for your skin and you won't sink. Number 3. The Old Capital Portuguese explorers first came across the previously deserted Cape Verde Islands in the 15th century, and they swiftly began the process of establishing Santiago as their capital island. Cidade Velha is still standing today. It's close to Praia, the modern capital, and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Visit a guided tour to learn about Cape Verdean culture and history while taking in the traditional stone dwellings, a fortress used to guard the island from pirates, an old slave market, and a monastery. Number 2. Horseback Riding at Santa Maria Beach even though Santa Maria is the largest and busiest beach in Sal, you don't have to travel there purely for the water. A lot of horseback riding tours begin on the vast salt flats that are just above the ocean. In spite of this, the majority of the islands provide horseback riding excursions along the trails, in the hills, and on the beaches. In fact, this is one of the nicest things to do in Cape Verde, especially at sunset. Number 1. The Blue Eye Essentially, the Blue Eye is a natural pool created in the lava rocks by the ocean. This natural water turns a magical turquoise blue when the sun strikes it at the perfect angle. Hence the name, Blue Eye. It is breathtakingly stunning. Adjacent to the Blue Eye is a natural lava lake where you can go for a swim, but on windy days, this can be very dangerous. Divers with experience can explore the secret grottoes and tunnels at this wonderful location. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, please subscribe for more daily videos. Have a great day!